the eclipse will begin what they call first contact will be about 10.20, 10.30 in that range. I've got the specifics on paper. If we look early on over at the hills, when the shadow just approaches us and we have first contact, there still will be sunlight on the hills. And then the moon will gradually cross over the sun and, and obscure it. When it's totally obscured, that's called second contact. And that will stay for about two minutes and four seconds. It will get dark here about like an hour after sunset. Before I retired fully, I would spend time with Dr. Bill Patton and Jack Jacobson, and they kept urging me to, to get a telescope, to go look, to get out at night, and uh, that probably was the thing that uh, got me started. First telescope I bought, I didn't know enough about the sky to know where to look to see anything. And I'd get out there and I'd point it, and once in a while I'd find something that was interesting, but that was about the extent of it. Looking at the pictures that you see published, there was none of the color, there was none of the uh, beauty that you see published in the magazines. As a result of that, I started trying to take some pictures through the telescope, and pretty soon I would come into my wife, hey, look, here's Orion, and it's kind of a red smudge, but at least I got some color. We're currently located at the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Crouch, Idaho. And the reason we're here is the National Solar Observatory set up a project of some 62 sites across the United States. And the object is to take photographs of the corona during solar totality. And this place happens to be one of those sites that they had selected. don't want to point the telescope at the sun until you have proper filters on it. Otherwise you'll end up destroying the camera or the eyepieces that are on the other end of it. So, start it up and see if we can get two sun. Oh, I started in the mid-90s, 1995 or so. I had a film Nikon that I was using, and that presented quite, quite a challenge because you never saw your results until after you had done some darkworm work. So we're nicely aligned, centered, and uh, focused. So we'll just sit and let the, the uh, mountain scope track the sun until we get close to eclipse time. At that time, we'll start taking a series of pictures. Totality is when the moon fully covers the sun disk so that the brightness of the sun is obscured and you see the corona as it radiates out from the sun. They're hoping that they can put together a movie that's approximately an hour and a half or 90 minutes long, look at the effect of solar radiation, solar winds, magnetic effects, plumes that come off the corona, and look at this over a long period of time.
That two minutes went fast, about yeah. like about like eight seconds.